affair despite opposition from various quarters. The Karnataka cabinet on Monday cleared the controversial Karnataka protection of rights, freedom and religious bill 2021, more commonly known as the anti-conversion bill. And today, the Home Minister there even tabled that contentious bill in the state assembly. Now, Congress has been protesting about this. They say that the the conversion anti-conversion bill has uh, a provision of jailing those who engage in mass uh, religious conversion as well for a period of three to ten years. There are fines part of it as well. And also a uh, lot of other uh, you know, pointers that we have been flagging on your screen at the moment on what this bill is all about. Shrija joins us for the very latest. Uh, Shrija, some news reports coming in that the Congress has been revolting against this bill uh, quite fiercely on the floor of the House as well. Could you confirm? Well, firstly, the bill was introduced when the Congress was just entering the Assembly. This is right after the uh, lunch break. That means the Congress or the opposition leaders were not actually present uh, in the seats when the uh, bill was being introduced. And clearly, if you're going by that particular video of the Assembly proceedings, you can also see where the Speaker, Vishweshwar uh, Kageri, he goes on to say, where is the opposition? And I'm going to introduce the bill. So this is exactly exactly how uh, things in fact uh, panned out in the house and what's also important to uh, note over here soon after the bill was introduced especially by the home minister Araga Nyanendra we see that uh, the leader of the opposition Sidramaya including DK Shivkumar and other senior stalwarts of the Congress immediately very fiercely they opposed this particular introduction of the bill they just not just questioned the introduction of the bill but uh, they also questioned by which they had violated the constitution the act itself by introducing the bill in the absence of the Congress leaders, one, and also not being informed of the fact that they were planning to bring in the bill for the introduction. So the, those were the major contentions as far as the Congress is concerned. And soon after that, we could also see where the Keshav Kumar went ahead and tore the bill, the, uh, especially the papers of the bill, where we also saw uh, the Speaker questioning him, uh, questioning his decorum in the House, saying that this is not really the way how you should be uh, in the house and goes on to question telling him that you should not be tearing the bill. So uh, clearly the Congress did of course vehemently oppose this particular bill. Siddharamaya did question the fact that why were we not informed. So clearly the Congress was completely caught unaware when the bill was being introduced with the Assembly and then we went on to see where the law minister himself Madhu Swami along with the revenue minister Arashok uh, telling them and calming the opposition down saying that let's bring this up for discussion tomorrow. So as per uh, the speaker uh, uh, on the floor of the house, he did go on to say that mm. they have a day's time. That means he did go on to tell the speaker, uh, uh, I beg your pardon, the speaker went on to tell the Ramaya that you have a day's time, you can prepare the bill, in fact, uh, uh, go through the bill and also look for if there are any loopholes and then come up for discussion. So according to what really ensued the entire commotion, the speaker did tell uh, mention in the assembly saying that the bill will come up for discussion tomorrow all right so talking about what exactly is in the bill the opposition will also now sit on just take us through what exactly are the problematic uh, issues over here we are seeing some of them about uh, how the burden of proof that conversion was not illegal lies solely with the person doing the conversion it talks about sweeping definition of illegal conversion as well just take us through some of the top points there please Uh, well, some of the most important pointers to be looked at. Well, it is not just the opposition uh, here opposing the bill, but also we have the minority community, especially the Christianity community, opposing this bill. And also what's important to note that especially the pa the person, especially the religious converter, who's going to convert a person to a different religion, now he will have, he will be solely responsible to furnish proof, especially to the district magistrate, that it was not an illegal conversion. 
coercion. Now, that means he can also be victimized. So, which means there can also be allegations which time and again have been put forth by the right-wing vigilantes. Second, what we are looking at is especially that the person carrying out the conversion, now the notice will have to be, that is in advance of 30 days, the district magistrate should be informed of the fact that so and so person is getting converted from uh, a one religion to the other. So that means in advance, a notice should be put up saying that this is the conversion uh, that's happening in so and so place. The other the most important aspect of this bill that we are looking at is also especially the convertees, the one, those who get converted to another religion. Now, they're going to lose the reservation status. Now, the SCST uh, community that we're talking about, uh, you know, they are entitled to certain reservations given by the government, certain benefits. But now that is something that uh, the especially those convertees who are going to convert to another religion will lose the reservation status. Now, coming to the punishment, as far as the punishment, harsh, pena uh, in fact, uh, penalties for converting those from SCSTs. We're looking at the, uh, you know, the term of jail term that we're talking about varies between three years mm. to about 10 years. So this is the, the these are the kind of harsh penalties as far as the bill that we are looking at. And that is one of the major reasons, especially the Christian community and also the opposition. They have been vehemently opposing this particular bill. Back to you. All right. So tomorrow is going to be another day of discussions on this. We can expect fireworks again in Karnataka Assembly tomorrow. Thanks, Srija, for joining us.